I'm Carl, and you're watching the Coffee Boiling Channel. Welcome back to another exciting week of the Coffee Bowling Channel. If you tuned in a couple weeks ago, you noticed how to hook your ball more. If you're tuning in this week, you're going to notice how to hook your ball less. <laughs> so, by request in the comments, so I want you to pay attention that this is one of the first videos that I did based on a comment on one of my other videos. So I am listening to you, <laughs> little by little. And sure by sure, we're getting, I love it because I was actually sitting here today thinking, what topic should I do? Boom, you guys gave me a topic to do. Love it, thank you. So, there are three things that are gonna help you not hook the ball as much. So, those three things are your physical game. What can you do with the physical game? How you throw the ball? What can you do with your own game? Not what Michael does with Michael's game, but what are some things that you can do with the physical game in order to hook the ball less? Topic two, lane play, the mental game. I kind of consider them one and the same, although lane play doesn't really go with emotions, but what you decide is in your head, and that's mental. So the way to play the lanes, your strategies. What kind of strategies do, are you gonna use to break the lanes down? What kind of strategies are you gonna use with your equipment? Uh, where are you gonna put that equipment? All that can help you hook your ball less. So, I will get into that, obviously a little bit more specifically when I get to that topic. <laughs> and then lastly, so the third topic is the pro shop. There are various endless tools in the pro shop to help you hook the ball less. So, some things that you can do are, you know, your layouts, ball selection, ball surface, stuff like this. All things, there's a lot of stuff in the pro shop you can do to make your ball hook less. So we're gonna get into it right away. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I think it's super beneficial to anybody with ball reaction troubles. Okay, the physical game. What can you do with your physical game in order to help your ball hook less? So one of the biggest things and the, probably the first thing that comes to mind is ball speed. So ball speed, by increasing your ball speed, it gives the ball less time to hook as it's going down the lane. That is the majority of what it can do for you. Okay, now that's a little difficult. I do have some other videos that you can watch to help you do that. But this is all about what you can do, not how to do it. So other, other strategies, loft. Being able to loft the ball. Now, don't get me wrong. Not lofting is not always the answer, but if you can master like a couple inch loft or like you know a little foot loft and then in, in the craziest and extreme ways, maybe like a two foot loft, you'll never have to loft the ball crazy. And there are two different ways to loft the ball up like the mortar or straight forward and down. So if you mortar style, it's gonna make your ball hook more, so don't do that. But if you can kind of get it to like, let's say my arm is the lane, and you can get your ball to just go straight off your hand and then down instead of up, you will see a much, much, much better projection through the front part of the lane and you'll be able to get your ball down lane through all that friction. So, another thing, grip pressure. If you're squeezing the ball super hard and it's causing, that causes you to slow your swing down and your ball speed down altogether. So if you have too much grip pressure, that could also be a reason why your ball is hooking too much. So the more grip pressure, the harder you're gonna get it at the bottom equals more hook. So, some ways to also combat your overhook problems or how to get your ball to hook less with a physical game as well are your hand positions, your ball roll. So, what ball roll is probably going to help you hook it less? Now, if you spin the ball, it's never going to read the front part of the lane. So, what you have to take into consideration is how much oil you have in the front part of the lane and your break point shape when it comes to hand positions. So the more up the back you get, the rounder and smoother your ball reaction is gonna be. And it's not gonna cover as many boards. The more rounded you get, not spinny, I'm talking just ball rotation, the more boards your ball is gonna cover. So if you master this a lot of rotation and you wanna, and you, you just see your ball hooking a ton, try getting more up the back of the ball and don't necessarily throw the ball into the friction as quickly like at the certain foot distance of the lane. More out the back ball roll gets the core tumbling earlier and in the roll phase faster and therefore less hook overall. 
Now you're probably wondering, oh, well, what if I do this on really dry lanes because I can't get my ball to stop hooking and it just keeps 10 pinning and I can't get a strike with it. Well, that might be the wrong way to get your ball to stop hooking in that particular scenario. But let's say you're on a fresh pattern. You have, you still have, you're still working with a lot of oil. Up the back ball roll can be very beneficial. So you got ball speed, ball roll, loft, and you know some some grip pressure. Now extreme cases is really when the grip pressure is going to be an issue. But those things, with your physical game alone, without having to touch lane play or the pro shop, can also help you hook the ball less. Lane play strategies in order to help your ball not hook. Sorry, let me scoop my chair up. Okay. So lane play strategies to help your ball stop hooking. So one thing. So when I, when I say lane play strategy, I mean like, what are you doing with the oil on the lane? What are you doing with your equipment to combat the oil on the lane? And how are you using the oil on the lane and using your equipment in order to combine them to get a strategy? So that's what I'm gonna go over. So generally, if you want to hook your ball less, you want your ball in the oil as much as it can be. So what does that mean? That means understand the oil pattern you're on. Look at the lane graph. Know how long the pattern is. Know how much volume is in the pattern. When you do that, you can see where the oil is and you can use that area of oil and you want to keep that ball in the oil for as long as you can. So uh, I'm not going to get into sports shots because that's going to take way too long, more time than I need. How shots. So we obviously know it's the second arrow and to the right, that's where most of the friction is. Or for a lefty, the second arrow to the left, a lot of friction. In the middle of the lane, a lot of oil. So now, think about the foot distance. When are you throwing it into the friction on that given uh, moment? You keep it in the friction later down lane, let's say around 40 feet or 35 feet, the ball is going to have much less time to react to that friction and overhook. So you generally want to keep your lay down point in the oil. Now, you can use some weaker bowling balls and you can also use urethane. So here's, here's a crazy strategy not a lot of people like to use because it makes it harder for them. But if you're a very talented bowler and you are able to change a lot of different things, you can highly benefit from this. So a lot of things, and I saw this a lot in college bowling, coaches would tell their players, take a urethane ball and throw it left of where you're going to be, left of where your break point is and that's going to give you a little bit of slide down lane and it's going to carry the oil down and it's going to make your ball hook less overall now is that something you should do all the time no because a lot of the time it's just going to piss people off even though they shouldn't be upset about it but it can make it tougher but if you're experienced enough and you know what to do it can benefit you and help you play straighter your thing as a whole is going to help you play straighter or plastic. Plastic is going to help you straight, play straighter. That's a little obvious. But when we're talking about lane play, you, you want to find the highest concentration of oil and you want to put your lay down point, you want to throw it through there. So the biggest thing that can really help you when it comes to lane play is your ability to identify the oil and know where it's at. So with that being said, that's lane play and how to keep your ball hooking a little bit less by using the oil. So it's all really about just a strategy. So things that you can do for in the pro shop to help your ball stop hooking. One, change your bowling ball surface. What does that mean exactly? So you wanna go, so the shinier you go, the ball is going to skid in the oil. But remember, the longer it skids, the more it saves energy and the sharper of a back end you're gonna get and it could cover more boards. But if you do it in the right scenario, you can find a happy medium. So too shiny, you'll see it hook more, but you find just the right amount of shininess, it'll keep it stable and controlled. Polish, gonna make the ball go really long. 4,000 grit, 3,000 grit, pretty shiny. Now, if you start getting into 2,000 grit, that's gonna really round the ball out. If you get to 1,000 grit, the ball's going to start potentially burning up on you. 500 grit will definitely burn up on you at some point. And the lower you go, the earlier it's gonna hook, but sometimes, it's going to force you to cover more boards when you don't necessarily need to. So try out, try out some surfaces with your bowling balls and make sure that you are not, you know, kind of conflicting yourself. But changing your surface can definitely help you go a little straighter. So the different cover stocks that you can get, hybrids and pearls. 
those are probably some a lot of hybrids are going to be pretty smooth but pearls are going to be pretty strong in the back part of the lane but you can also get a weaker pearl cover sometimes cover strength like cover stocks just just because it's a pearl and a solid and a hybrid you got to look at the strength of that cover so don't get a super strong pearl if you're looking to hook the ball less don't get a super strong cover in general get one of the weaker covers on the lower end balls so pay attention to what cover you got in your hands try, maybe try a ball that has a little less cover strength go to a layout look at your track flare lines what is your flare lines doing if your flare lines are if one flare line is far away from the other flare line like this that ball is drilled to hook a lot now if you are looking at your flare lines and you're seeing a flare line only about this far apart from each other that ball is going to get down lane through the front part of the lane really well now if you see a lot of flare like past two inches that ball is going to hook a lot now if you see a lot like a very little amount of flare on your ball like just one solid stripe line that ball is not going to hook very much so if you look at your flare potential on your bowling ball that can also help you go a lot straighter now your layouts are going to be dependent on the, that flare and those numbers are going to kind of get confusing that's where you got to have a good pro shop guy who knows what he's doing or you guys can look up dual angle layout systems and it is by mo pinnell we love you mo you up top now i know but you can look it up on google and you can do some reading by yourself ask you know come to your pro shop guy with a little bit of education and tell him what you want and he can help you get there so we got layouts got bowling ball types and you got uh, your cover strengths so pay attention to that kinds of stuff because you could be doing everything right physically and lane play wise but if you're just using the wrong ball for the wrong you know moment you could find yourself with a whole lot more hook than you necessarily want so with that being said you know balls that are like super heavily surfaced on a dry lane no good balls that are super super shiny on an oily lane probably no good so Remember, it's about happy mediums, about proportions. Don't Sometimes extremes aren't going to work for you, but just adjust, guess and check. That's really going to help you find what you want. So, that being said, that is what you can do in the pro shop. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope this topic was able to help you out in your bowling journey. And if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, drop it in the comments section. If you have another great video topic like you had with this one, go ahead and let me know about it. I'm definitely looking at the comments. I may not be able to get, all of them, get to all of them, but I definitely appreciate you guys giving me suggestions and stuff. It really helps me when it comes to thinking of an idea in order to come up with these videos. Sometimes it's, you think, wow, there's so many ideas, but at the same time, when you want to come up with just one, it's like almost like a mental block. But anyways, recapping on what you can do to hook the ball less. You can throw it harder, you change your hand positions, uh, there's tons of things you can do with your physical game. There are also multitudes of things you can do with lane play, keeping your ball in the oil for as long as you possibly can. You know, using certain strategies like a certain surface type with certain oil patterns or staying in a certain part of the lane because you know that's where all the oil is or staying away from a certain part of the lane because that's where you know the friction is. Your angle of attack into the friction or into the oil, that does a lot for how much the ball is going to hook. So, and also knowing what pattern you're on, knowing where the oil is, knowing where the oil isn't. That's huge. That is gonna help you as well. And you know, the third third topic of this video was the pro shop. What can you do in the pro shop to help your ball hook less? Layouts, your ball surface, uh, your cores, your cover strengths, just you know, what kind of ball you're even throwing, what would how did your pro shop operator and you lay it out and design it how did you want it to hook all these things are definitely affecting how much your ball is hooking so with that being said i know it's kind of a lot but you can take this information and you can apply it to your game and you can help yourself hook the ball less when you need to now you don't always need to hooking the ball less isn't always the answer and hooking the ball more also is not the answer as well it's a combination of doing the right thing at the right time that's going to get you the results that you want. If you love this topic, <laughs> hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to see some more cool videos or you got the topics, like I said before, drop it in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching.
see you in another video. <laughs> Later.